The construction of railway tracks and stations across the entire country of Ghana has been a key construction project the government intends to achieve by the soonest possible time. This would be an extraordinary feat since the railway operations in the country broke down years ago. The government of Ghana, keen on this plan, has already set in motion ongoing railway constructions like the Tematu Impakadan Railway, which is the start of this grand scheme, to the Ghana to Burkina Faso railway construction, and now the construction of this Takrade to Kumasi railway tracks to ease access and to move a step further in connecting the country by rail. Stick to this video to the end as we discuss this new development and all the information surrounding it. Before we begin, I would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into it. Ever since the mapping out of the train tracks across Ghana, much anticipation has been made regarding regions with the harbors where the ports are available to transport goods and food produce. This seems to be exactly where the Ghanaian government is also leaning towards, with its priority being targeted at the Temahabo and now moving to the western region, where the project's main focus is from the Takrade port to Kumase and its environs. The initial project from Tema to Impakadan and then to Burkina Faso is mainly geared towards achieving significant economic growth and in this time of economic debacle, railway operations from Takrade to neighboring towns would prove somewhat beneficial in terms of trade. The Ghanaian government has started advancement towards the Western Railway Line as the Greater Accra Line is ongoing and has gone back and forth on its financial assistance for some time now. Ghana's Western Railway Line runs a total of 339 kilometers, which is 210 miles from Takrade's port to Kumasi, but only 66 kilometers is operational as at now. And according to Ghana's Ministry of Railway Development, the project has been listed as a priority project. Two miles are on the route, including the Ghana manganese mine at Insuta and a bauxite mine at Awaso, which used to use the rail until it collapsed, according to the ministry. The line also goes through Ghana's cocoa growing regions, and cocoa as well used to be transported in significant quantity by rail, but has not been the case since 2006. This goes to show the immense importance of the Western Railway Line. Transportation of cement, mining equipment, and petroleum will also benefit from the construction of the railway line, the Ministry of Railway Development in a statement said. In terms of financing this project, Ghana's government is in talks to sign an agreement with the Tiolo DB Consortium for a $3.2 billion loan to develop and make operational its western railway line, the company said in a statement. Tiolo DB is a South African railway entity incorporated between Tiolo Ventures, an African industrial company, and Germany's Deutsche Bahn Engineering and Consulting DB. The Tiolo DB Consortium also includes Ghanaian partner Transtech Consult. And as at August this year, several meetings had been carried out between the Ghana Railway Board and its union members on the loan draft, which is being looked at by the Ministry of Finance and the Attorney General to make sure everything is in order. The Western Railway Line project will transform Ghana's existing railway infrastructure base into a modern, robust an integrated railway system, Tiolo DB said in its statement also. With financing of this project secured, the construction of the Western Railway Line would also be advanced and the construction would commence immediately as the government has set out the goal to connect the whole of Ghana by rail. And judging from this development and the ongoing railway constructions as well, Ghana is well on course. Further updates on this railway construction project would be shared on this channel. If you like content like this, be be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these. Also, check out this video next on this ongoing developmental project in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.